Well, we had a few very nice days off, but it's now time to get back to work. So I'm going to do some measuring here to get everything figured out for the material that I need for the front. Once I've got that much done, I want to do a quick repair to my little wagon. It's got a couple of flat tires and I want to use it for some driveway work that I'm going to be starting. I don't like to fool around trying to patch tubes. Tubes for things like this aren't very expensive, so I'm just going to pull them out and put new tubes in. The one thing I do like to do is I take the insides out of the valve stems because they sometimes come in handy. I like to use my needle nose vice grips to take a hold of the valve stem to hold it in place just for the first time that the tire is inflated or if the tire is completely flat. Now here's a little something to keep an eye out for, especially during the times of high humidity. You've got to watch out that your air tank for your compressor does not get full of water. Because if that water sits in there for too long, it is going to rust the inside of your tank. I did really let this get away on me. I shouldn't have let this happen. My gravel driveway looks more like a lawn. So I'm going to take out all the bigger clumps and that type of thing and clean up along the curbs. And then I'm going to use Roundup to finish this off. All of that part done, I'm going to get down here with the backhoe and dig out some of these big rocks. I've got about four that are really a bit of a nuisance and one root. So let's get the tractor going, get the backhoe down here and dig these things out.
Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video, and if you are enjoying it, I'd really appreciate the like, and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any suggestions, thoughts, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to work. One of the things I really like about my Kubota BX23S is how easy it is to install and remove the backhoe. It takes about five minutes and you're done. So to start off this grading job, I've tilted the box so that the front blade will cut in and I've lowered the teeth down so that they'll dig in by about four inches. I'm going quite slow to start out with, just to make sure there's no more big rocks in the driveway that I'm going to catch a tooth on and rip the grater box off the back of the tractor.
So after several passes like that, it's time to smooth it out. So I'm going to lift the teeth up now so that they aren't making contact anymore. And then I'm going to tilt the box back so that the back blade is dragging, not cutting. That will smooth everything out. Alright folks, we've got the driveway done and with those few rocks and roots out of there it was actually very easy to do. Now that, that went really well. And with that going so well, left me enough time to cut the grass. But we had a casualty. Yeah. My trimmer's in pieces. So while I was cutting, or trimming I should say, my uh, weed eater part started to not spin anymore. And I wasn't sure what that was, so I popped this off the end, checked the uh, gears in here, they're good, but this is what has failed. Now this is the drive cable and it, it's really pretty easy. That goes up in there, meshes with the uh, drive up at the motor and then there's a square that's supposed to be on this end that fits down into the hole here. But when I took this piece off, I took my magnet, fished down in there, and that's where the square was that's supposed to be on the end of this. So basically, this cable is squared off uh, on the end to fit into the two drives. And that square broke off of this end. So, actually a really easy fix. As long as I can get the cable, I can just put a new one in here put it back together and I'll be in business. So not a terrible thing. So I'll get a couple of pictures of this, get the model number and whatnot, and get my manual out. And tonight I will go online and see if I can get a replacement for it. And if I can't get one online, I'm pretty sure I should be able to get one from the still dealer in town. So all in all, we've had a pretty productive couple of days. I'm quite pleased with how things went. I'm a bit surprised I haven't heard from the uh, from my neighbor about haying. I would have thought that he'd want to be out, especially today, considering there's supposed to be a storm coming, but I take advantage where I can. So that gave me the time to get a number of small jobs done and out of the way. I've got measurements taken for the uh, front of the house for the board and batten. And if I don't hear from him tomorrow morning, I'm going to start gathering up my board and batten pieces from the drying tent, get them down here, get them ready to go, uh, get my battens all stained, and get ready to start tearing the front off of that. 
So I think that'll be it for today, folks. I hope you uh, found the video interesting or maybe a little bit entertaining. And if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That would really help a lot. We've had a pretty good jump in subscribers lately, and that's making uh, a really big difference, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much to all the new subscribers, and thank you very much to all my regulars. Your support really matters. All right, I think it's time for dinner. So thank you very much for watching. Remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. I better measure that.